Ever wondered why it's so hard to focus in today's world? In the era of information overload, distractions are as common as the air we breathe. Imagine this, you're in the middle of a task and then ping, a notification on your smartphone, or maybe you're trying to concentrate, but there's a constant urge to check your social media feed. Sound familiar? These distractions, while seemingly harmless, can have profound impacts. They can chip away at our productivity, fragmenting our time into tiny, unproductive segments. They can also strain our mental health, leading to stress and burnout. In fact, the constant switching between tasks can leave us feeling exhausted, even when we've accomplished little. But here's the catch. Living in a world brimming with potential distractions doesn't mean we're doomed to a life of unproductivity and constant stress. Distractions are everywhere. But it's up to us to choose whether we let them control us. To tackle the issue, we first need to understand why we get distracted. You might think it's just a modern problem with our smartphones buzzing and social media feeds refreshing, but actually, it's rooted in our evolution. Our brains are designed to be alert to new, interesting, or potentially dangerous things. This was crucial for our ancestors who needed to be aware of lurking predators or incoming storms. In the modern world, this translates into an affinity for novelty. The latest tweet, the newest video, the most recent email. Our brains are naturally drawn to these things because they're new and different. It's not a sign of weakness or a lack of discipline. Rather, it's how our brains have been wired over countless generations. However, this doesn't mean we're helpless in the face of distractions. By acknowledging this neurological predisposition, we can start to develop strategies to manage our attention better. Understanding how our brains work can help us combat the distractions that surround us. Now that we understand the problem, let's look at some solutions. Firstly, setting specific goals is a crucial step. It's like setting the coordinates on your internal GPS system. When you know exactly where you're headed, your mind can focus on the path to get there. Think about the task at hand, break it down into manageable chunks, and set a timeline. Your goals can be as simple as reading a chapter of a book or as complex as completing a research project. Just remember, the clearer your destination, the less likely you are to get sidetracked. Next, creating a conducive environment can significantly reduce distractions. This is not just about physical space, but also about digital space. Start by decluttering your workspace. Remove any items that aren't necessary for your task. For your digital space, consider using apps that block distracting websites or set your devices on do not disturb mode. A clean, quiet, and distraction-free environment can do wonders for your focus. Another strategy is taking regular breaks. It might sound counterproductive, but our brains need downtime to rest and recharge. The Pomodoro Technique, for instance, suggests working for 25 minutes and then taking a 5-minute break. These short, frequent breaks can actually enhance your productivity and prevent burnout. Lastly, practicing mindfulness can help you stay focused. This is about being fully present and engaged in the task at hand. It's not about emptying your mind, but rather about acknowledging distractions and then gently guiding your attention back to your task. Over time, mindfulness can train your brain to become less susceptible to distractions. So there you have it. To combat distractions, set clear goals, create a conducive environment, take regular breaks, and practice mindfulness. Each of these strategies is a tool in your toolbox, ready to be used when distractions try to derail your focus. By taking these proactive steps, we can regain control over our attention and productivity. In today's fast-paced world, distractions can easily derail our focus and productivity. Now let's take a moment to recap what we've discussed. We started by identifying the common distractions we face in today's society. These can range from our smartphones and social media, to our friends and family, and even our own thoughts. We then delved into the science behind distractions. We learned that our brains are wired to respond to new and interesting things, and this can often lead to our attention being pulled away from what we're supposed to be focusing on. But it's not all doom and gloom. We also explored a range of strategies to minimize distractions. These included setting clear goals, creating a conducive environment, and even training our brains to resist distractions through mindfulness techniques. Remember, the power to overcome distractions lies within us. It's time to reclaim our focus and thrive in this distracted world. Be sure to hit that like or subscribe button and keep being curious, beautiful, and continue learning. Check out some of my other videos and keep staying curious.